Okay. I'd like to discuss Revelation chapter 13. And ladies and gentlemen, I am literally amazed of where we stand today. I never, ever, 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 ever thought that I would live to see the stuff that I'm seeing happening before my very eyes. I want to make it, I want to make a confession to everybody that's listening to this. Before I got saved, I always used to say, oh, they've been saying that for 2,000 years, that Jesus is coming back, and so on and so on. This is the last thing that I ever thought that I would ever be doing, would be proclaiming the, the prophetic message to the people. And yet, this is what God has called me to. It's, it's literally amazing. Like I'm literally amazed. Like When you keep informed and you study prophecy and you see the changing world around us, we see the prophecies coming to pass right before our very eyes, exactly as has been outlined in Scripture. History is, unwind is unwinding exactly as God said it would be. God is foretelling us the history of the world. I challenge anybody, if you're skeptical about all this stuff, I challenge you to study Bible prophecy, because Bible prophecy has a, a track record of accuracy. All the time it comes to pass. Exactly it has, a, has, a, has been written. It's always right on the teeth. All the time. When it comes right to the smallest detail. Right to the letter. So I challenge you to study Bible prophecy. The accuracy of it. And you'll be literally amazed. And that will show you that this is no ordinary book. But this is for what it claims to be. It's the word of God. God has done what no one else has been able to ever do ever before, and that's foretell the future of the world in advance. And it's now history. That's why it's recorded down in paper. It's recorded in His Word. So that when it happens, we will see, wow, that was in there, that just happened, that just happened. So I just want to get into this right here. Revelation chapter 13. I want to start from verse 7. The Bible clearly predicts that there's coming a one world government and the, this is the final generation that is going to be alive to see Jesus Christ return so because no other generation has seen the stuff that we have seen and all the prophecies are not just coming to pass but they're actually coming to pass with accelerating they're accelerating they're coming to pass at lightning speed like everything that is happening right now it's not just one sign, it's all of them. They're all occurring at the same time. All the stuff that's happening in the Middle East with Egypt, Iran, Syria, all those countries, it's all predicted in the Bible and it's exactly as the Word of God said it would be that Israel would be the center of attention of the world in the last days. And that Jerusalem will be the, the key uh, player for world peace and World War uh, Three. That's that's where the battle is going to be over. Is the city of Jerusalem. So, anyways, I want to get into this right here. Revelation chapter thirteen, verse seven. An authority over every wait, an authority over every tribe and people and tongue and nation was given to him. Was given to him. A single person, a single leader, that there is speaking specifically of a global authority. Because another translation says, an authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, people, and nation. But this one says, an authority over every tribe and people and tongue and nation was given to him. <clears throat> That's in verse 7 of Revelation 13, verse 7. So that basically right there is speaking of a one world government. His control, authority, power over every country, tribe, people, and tongue, and nation. But the word tongue means all the languages of the world. The tribes, every tribe, all the tribes of the earth, and all the nations of the earth, and all the people of the earth. That's total dictatorship. And then if you go to uh, verse 8, is talking specifically of a one world religion and all who dwell on the earth will worship him all it says it clearly 
and all who dwell on the earth will worship him. Everyone whose name has not been written from the foundation of the earth in the, in the book of life of the Lamb who has been slain. If anyone has an ear, let him let him hear. Let him hear. God has a concern for people, that he wants people to understand of what's going on. Like that's why it says in Peter that we have a more sure word of prophecy. You do well to take heed of it. We have to pay attention to prophecy and it's a command to heed the warnings of prophecy. It just breaks my heart that so many people are not interested in it for everything that is going on in our world today. And by the way, your Bible is over one-fourth prophecy and over 80% of Bible prophecy has already come to pass to exact detail right on target. If that much prophecy has already come to pass, that should make anybody think to themselves, wow, that is significant. I better pay more attention to what the book has to say. Especially if that much has already come to pass and right to the so much accuracy, right to the smallest detail has come to pass. So the remaining things will also come to pass and they are already coming to pass right before our eyes. They're talking about a one world government. They've been the global power elitists have been working and developing and building and creating a one world government for years. It's just amazing to hear President Bush saying it's it's a big idea, a new world order and so on and so on. Knowing that the Bible said that there's the fulfillment, it's happening. And then verse eight all who dwell on the earth will worship him is clearly speaking of a one world religion these are the preparations that are being laid this is the foundation this is the, the ground the pave the paving the cement right now everything to get everything ready for the uh, tribulation period because the things that are going to be going on after the rapture of the church have to start taking place now or else they can't happen afterwards the United Nations is calling for a one world uh, religion. They have this interfaith movement going on. And all roads lead to God. Tony Blair is, uh, he has a special, uh, what's it called? He's in a special thing to unite all the world's religions and set up a one world religion. And even uh, the New Age movement is working on a one world religion, a one world government. Now, I also want to go into where it talks about a global economy, a single economy. I don't know if there's going to be a one world currency or not. I know the Bible says clearly, well, there probably will be a currency. It'll probably be a digital currency. It's going to be a cashless currency for sure because they're eliminating cash. I want to get into this Revelation chapter 6, Revelation 13 from 16 to 18 right here and he causes all not some not a few not a little bit that's universal that's the globe that's the whole entire world he causes all so for that to happen for him to cause all that has to make you think how can he do that if we have our own currency if we have our own economy if we're an obsession unless we are all in a global currency and a global economy and that's exactly what it's talking about right there I want to read the whole thing okay and he causes all the small and the great and the rich and the poor and the free man and the slaves to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead and he provides that no one should be able to buy or to sell except the one who has the mark either the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for the number is that of a man and his number is 666 which comes out 666 this was totally impossible to happen until we reach the computer age. Now everything is done by computers, computerized. 
and it says it clearly he provides that no one is no one is going to be able to buy or sell unless they plead their allegiance and accept a mark on their right hand you see it doesn't say a left hand you're not going to be able to use your left hand because it said the the way the technology will be because there's something unique in the right hand that the left hand doesn't have this was literally amazing like if you go to revelation chapter 20 it doesn't say hands with an F. It says hand because it's specifically talking about the right hand, even though it doesn't say the right hand. Because knowing what the Bible said, it's going to be the right hand. It's not going to be the left. Even if people want to try to use it with their left, like someone says, yeah, but what if their uh, what if their right hand's chopped up? What if they don't have a right hand? Well, they're going to have to put it on their forehead. They're not going to be able to use their uh, left hand. Somehow there's there's a vein pattern, muscle muscle. Uh, that the left hand doesn't have in the hand some some reason. But listen to this. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And he shall... Is it Revelation 20? Here, okay, wait. Yeah, right here. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their because of the testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image okay, right here and had not received the mark upon their forehead and upon their hand upon their hand so it says it clearly it's just amazing of where we are right now we are already living in a global economy that prophecy has already been fulfilled. Now all that we need is a world government to control the global economy, which is which is going to happen knowing the Bible. This is just amazing. And uh, also there will be a global currency, which will probably be a digital currency because there's a special, uh, what's it called, money, the world money, yeah, the world money for, format it's a group of people that discuss the world. How are we going to deal with the world? What are we going to do? And they want they, they, they want to get rid of cash. We're going into a cashless society. And they want to make everything digitalized. Digits. Isn't that amazing? Digits. Everybody's going to be labeled as a number. That, like the mark of the beast is a number. With the people, they want to label people as numbers with the dig digital uh, smart cards. You name it. So this, this is what the what's it called the world money. Yeah, the world money format. They want to eliminate all cash, and they want to make everything digitalized. And that's what they're doing. They're bringing in international ID cards because all the governments of the world they're working on bringing in biometrics. Everybody's going to have to scan to travel. It's, it's crazy. They're scanning people. Just to stop and think about this. But yeah, that's what the book of Revelation is. The apocalypse. Many people get scared saying the apocalypse, the revelation. They think it means the end of the world. But they misunderstand that meaning. It doesn't mean that at all. The revelation and the apocalypse means the unveiling, the revealing. Like everything in the book of Revelation right now, it's all being revealed to us it's all coming to pass exactly it hasn't been written god definitely knows what he's talking about so that's what they're doing they're going to bring in a one world monetary system one world government one world religion and they want a one world military power and a one world economic system <laughs> this is the new world order and this is amazing as well all the leaders of we're living in a leaderless world all the leaders that were up and people look to they're all declining and I was just thinking to myself <clears throat> look at Obama people were looking to him and they were they loved him and yet now Obama is declining people don't even like him anymore this is all setting the stage for the arrival of the Antichrist he'll come on the world scene as a friend to every nation but he will deceive the people for their ultimate destruction and with the one world uh, religious leader which will be 
one of the popes that will come out of the Vatican. <clears throat> it's just amazing. So, my brothers and sisters in Christ, just be ready to meet the Lord, because Jesus is about to come back. Just be ready. Look up. The King is coming, and God bless you all.